Today's episode is brought to you by our sponsoring partner, the Campaign for Black Male Achievement. I want you to take a quick second and imagine what our nation would look like if we boldly invested in our neighborhoods and cities and showed young people, particularly black men and boys, real opportunities to build upon their God-given assets and live their best lives possible. That's the work that the Campaign for Black Male Achievement and my dear friend Sean Dove, CEO of CBME, has been working on over the past decade. They've joined and supported thousands of leaders on the ground to elevate and accelerate this very vision and mission. Visit tbpod.com slash partners today to learn more about CBMA and consider joining their membership and or donating to help them scale the impact of this growing field of black male achievement. You're listening to the trailblazers.fm podcast, where we'll explore the stories of today's successful black professionals, entrepreneurs, and leaders. Join us to access the knowledge, resources, and tools of these accomplished professionals and come away with the know-how, confidence, and motivation you'll need to blaze your trail. And now here's your host, Stephen A. Hart. A week ago, my life changed. My Dad had a stroke and I had to drop everything right before Christmas and hop on a flight home to be at his side in the hospital for several days. He's now left the hospital and he's resting and working through some very challenging times. And I'm going to ask that you keep him and our entire family in your thoughts and prayers for a full and speedy recovery. And I've been forever honest and transparent with you. I'm praying and I'm, I'm believing God in this season to direct our path. I have to tell you, it's hard. My mental and my physical strength have been tested in these days. And it's being pushed to its limits right now. I've cried and cried in the past week, realizing that one of the closest people in my life that I've known all my life will likely never be that version of himself again. But I am faithful. I am faithful that, you know, God is in control and what's happening right now can still bring about good. It can still bring about positive change and a different version of my dad that allows him to live out a longer life. So in keeping with our format of the Trailblazers.fm podcast, I just want to say that I'm grateful. I'm grateful that my dad is still alive. I'm grateful that there's an opportunity for his broken crayon to still create another masterpiece. I'm grateful for the opportunity that I have to be by his side with my sister and our family or friends at this time. I'm grateful to have an amazing wife who's holding it down with our team back home in Maryland. I'm grateful to our podcast team, to Annette and Mike. I appreciate you composing this final episode of the year without me. And today, Mike and Annette put together a compilation of past guests that we had throughout the year. Really wanted you to be reminded of each of their one actions, right, that they shared that they thought was going to help you in your quest to blaze your trail. So I hope you'll take all these different clips in, put them together, and I hope that as we prepare to enter the year 2020, this would help you to position, more than anything, position your mindset and energize your drive to rise above, go way beyond, and to blaze a trail, to achieve at a much higher level. So. I love you guys. I appreciate our podcast community. If you've not yet done so, please join our Blazer Nation community. Connect with other listeners, your peers, other hardworking entrepreneurs and professionals. You can get connected by visiting stephenahart.com slash Blazer Nation. That said, here's our last episode of the year 2019. Next week, we'll begin our third annual wealth series with an awesome episode to kick off the year in the series with Ash Cash. I hope you'll join us for that episode and I hope you have a blessed week and I'm wishing you a happy new year. God bless. Turn inward. Look at your 
yourself. You are responsible for you. There's no secret to it. There's no method to the madness. Go back to what Booker T. Washington said years ago. The circumstances that surround a man's or woman's life are important. It is how that individual responds to those circumstances is the number one determining factor. Number one, he said, whether that individual will fail or succeed. So when it comes to wealth, when it comes to millionaireship, it's not who your parents were. It's not where you were born, what side of town, what side of the tracks. It's not your education. It's not your networking. It's not your contacts. You know, but it is a function of your belief and it is a function of your attitude and it is a function of all the tangible skills that you have right now. That one action would be, and understand this, where you are right now doesn't have to be where you end up unless you choose to. Yes. So that means where you're sitting right now, you've got an opportunity to do something different this day, whether it's a shift in thinking, whether it's reaching out to somebody and getting some more information or getting some encouragement or being a source of encouragement to someone that's around you right now. Someone could need, they need a positive word. They need somebody that cares about them. Yes. And I think if we start to do that and understand that where you are right now is not where you're going to end up unless you stop, we understand we have a choice. The trailblazers listening, I would also say, give yourself grace. So, you know, depending on where you are, when you hear this and you have like some great content this month coming out around this, like depending on where you are, like give yourself grace. Cause a lot of things that we did not know, our parents mm-hmm. didn't know to teach us like, We didn't know, but that's the past. And so now we have the control. We have the power to change our lives. And so one, I want people to believe that it's possible. Freedom is possible for them. And the other thing I want them to understand is that the journey may be long, depending on where you start, but every step along the journey matters. So whether that means you're in debt payoff mode or you're learning about investing or you are just even waking up to this idea, like every step forward is a good step in a better direction. It gives you more options and something that they can do like right away is to immerse themselves in content and inspiration to help them on their journey. I remember when I first started, like I became obsessed with podcasts and blogs because I was just like, oh, how are people doing this? What does this mean? And you know, you'll hear different stories, you'll find different voices, you'll find what resonates with you. But I really think it's like, Follow your intuition. Mm -hmm. So if there's something that piques your interest, Google it, like read through it, like listen to the podcast, like just follow that because it leads you down a rabbit hole and you'd be happy that you fell in. So just continue to follow that. I'll give two. One thing I'll say is don't just be another man or woman who lived and died. Make sure you're significant in whatever it is you do. And then, you know, same thing along those lines is remind yourself nobody's built like you because you design yourself. Mm-hmm. I love that. Love that. I always I actually just told somebody a version of that today, because to add to that, Marco, sometimes we hear that someone else did something we were thinking of. And so we think that we can no longer do that thing when in truth, we have a way. So if Marco starts his marketing agency, And I was thinking to start a marketing agency. And because Marcus did, I think I can no longer do that. Well, I have a unique set of experiences, knowledge, wisdom, and time that God's planted in me different than Marcus. And so in this world that we're in right now, I think there are consumers that will gravitate to Marcus and there are consumers that will gravitate to me and there are consumers that will gravitate to each of you who are listening. So Definitely take a step forward and don't make that an excuse not to. You know, to touch on what you just said, our people, African-Americans in general, you know, we feel like there's not enough room in markets for two people to exist or, you know, two of the same thing to exist. I'm here to say that that's not the truth. That's a myth. Mm -hmm. You know, we live in a world where both Uber and Lyft are succeeding, right? And Adidas and Nike both succeed and exceed, you know, they do really well. So, you know, there's enough room in the universe, there's enough room in the market for two companies, 50 companies to succeed and do well. Yeah. I mean, look at professional services, look at churches, look at schools, look at education. I mean, you know, you could step into a neighborhood and think, okay, they absolutely do not need another dentist's office. And another one pops up and he thrives, right? So, I mean... You can absolutely 
look at a unique way of delivering the exact same service that's out there and people are going to gravitate to you because of you. So yeah, I could start a whole other episode, Marcus. <laughs> that, <laughs> is that, that's my lane and helping people to brand themselves. What action that Blazer Nation, I want Blazer Nation, since we talked about it, I want all of Blazer Nation to think about somebody that you must forgive. And I want you to forgive them. I don't care what the pain is. I don't care what it is. You holding that grudge is killing you. It's Mm -hmm. weighing you down. So Blazer Nation, forgive them. Let them go. Set it free. Because I'm telling you, the best of life is waiting for you, but you can't get there holding a grudge. I think you've got to lean into you. And I know people say that a lot, but I really think lean into you. Like in the morning, you affirm, I believe in me. I believe in my capabilities. I believe in my abilities. I believe in who I am. Because once you leave your home, your cocoon, your safety net, so to speak, and you go out into the world, there is going to be so many things that are trying to tear you down from that and pull you away from that. And so if you start your day saying, you know, exactly that, that you believe in you and you're leaning into you, I think it goes a very long way to when you are failing something and you have to recover, you have that affirmation that started the day. And when you come back home, I think you assess, how did I lean into me today? Like, Mm -hmm. where did I show up? And you pick out an actual, and you spend the time, you know, a couple of minutes to think, well, when I had that conversation, I think I did that well. And then you also point out when you didn't lean into yourself. When did Mm -hmm. you step away? When did you shy away and why? And just think about that. And it sounds like it would take a lot of time, but it doesn't. It's a few minutes. And I think that when you start your day and end your day that way, leaning into who you are, Mm -hmm. it just, I think it paves a really good path for you in terms of where you want to go next. One action is to, let me think, oh, that's a deep one, is to really sit down and kind of do your SWOT analysis of yourself. I think the best thing to blaze your trail is to understand who you are as a person and where your weaknesses and strengths are, and then work from there. Do it before you're ready. That is so true. Because so often... That is so true. People are waiting for the perfect time. time. They're waiting the perfect age, the perfect business, the perfect idea, and they are waiting to get everything right. And what happens is a month goes by, a year goes by, three years go by, five years go by, and you're at the reunion talking about that idea that you started five years ago that you still hadn't quite gotten off the ground. Mm. So I learned from the young lady who started Spanx which is a billion dollar company. She said the biggest piece of advice that she's ever been given that has helped her build a billion dollar company was to start before you're ready. So that is what I, that's my model for everything. It doesn't matter what it is. If it's a book, I don't have to know everything. I'm just going to start writing. I'm going to mess up, but I'm going to start writing. If it's an idea that I have, I'm just going to start going after and start taking steps in that direction and starting before I'm ready. Mm -hmm. So the best way to say that, or not best, but a different way to say that as well is to your audience is the action to take is to take action. Mm. Yes. Write it down. I mean, if the action for this week, again, you know, I do a lot of quoting of people who are smarter and wiser than I am, including the scriptures. So you know, one of my favorite, I have two favorite. One is write the vision, make it plain. It shall speak and not lie. If you don't write it down, it doesn't exist. And I tell people that in our office all the time. I mean, if people come in my office with an idea, if they come in and say, we're going to do this, this is our plan for this. And I say, well, where's the paper? My view is if it's not written, it's not real. So you must write things down. The other reason to do that, again, is because, again, Psalm 190 is my favorite scripture. Teach us to number our days so that we may incline our hearts to wisdom. The idea that we have limited time on the earth. We have limited time to engage in any particular pursuit. 
And so anything we must do, we must put it on a schedule. Right. So number one, write it down. And number two, put it on a schedule, because if you haven't and it has to be a realistic schedule, an accomplishable schedule, but it still needs to be on a schedule, because if it's not on a schedule, it won't get done. And so those are two things that absolutely anyone and everyone could and should do if they have specific goals that they'd like to accomplish. It doesn't take money, doesn't take a particular skill set, doesn't take a particular kind of education to write it down and make a schedule. Start now. Start right now. You don't need to plan anything else. Start the business right now. Buy the URL on GoDaddy. You don't need to sit and write the 50-page business plan. Build the momentum. When you get small wins, it gives you the momentum to get the big wins. You don't have to figure out the entire story before you take the first step. So many of us delay our goals because of preparation. But really, it's fair. You want to prepare and prepare and prepare. It will never be perfect. So the minute that you start, you will see that it will give you the momentum for the next win, the next win, the next win. And the next thing is that stop succumbing to people's opinions about your plans, about your dreams. Those are your dreams. And you are allowed to dream as big or as small as you would want to. But start on the dream today. So many people die with so much goodness inside them because they were waiting for this opportune, perfect moment when they got all the funding, all the business plans written. No, start now. So as soon as you finish listening to this, start now. I don't care what you have to do. If you have to put up a meme on Instagram saying business coming soon, buy the URL on GoDaddy. Yes. Get somebody to do the logo, register the business, do something. And every single day, do something towards your goals and your dreams. One small step at a time. Yeah. And you're deserving of living the life that you want. Because we literally have one precious life. Like, we have one chance at this. There are no do-overs. There are none. I'm Steve Nehart, and you've been listening to the Trailblazers.fm podcast. If you're not yet doing so, consider following Trailblazers.fm on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and feel free to connect with me over on LinkedIn. Whenever you're posting stories or social media posts about Trailblazers.fm, be sure to use the hashtag TBPod and hashtag Mission Fuel. We'll be able to see you, and I'll be able to show some love. And in case you're not aware, our show notes for all our episodes can be found on our website over at tbpod.com. Now, if today was your first time listening, I just want to say big ups, enough respect for checking us out. You've made this Jamaican guy really happy that you're here with us today. And I'd love your help with keeping this black excellence flowing each and every week. So if you haven't yet subscribed, hop on over to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Search trailblazers.fm and subscribe, rate, and review us there. Be sure to browse through some of our past episodes. There are more than 150 published episodes now, and a little something is out there for everyone to help keep the knowledge flowing. We grow when you, as part of our Blazer Nation community, shares and invites your friends and family to listen to an episode you think might impact them most. We believe that someone listening to these inspiring stories are going to be moved to make significant changes that have generational impact for many others, both now and well into the future. Don't miss next week's episode. New episodes are released each and every Monday morning at 5 a.m. Eastern. Blaze the Nation, go out today and find a way to rise above, go way beyond, and keep blazing your trail.